Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the previous episode, we had managed to remove the broken manifold bolts and get all new bolts seated correctly. One thing we had not captured on camera was myself actually welding the bolts and the ensuing saga that unfolded. But after flashing my eyes with arc, then forgetting to reattach the earth and sending a shock up my left arm, all that was left to top the chaos off was to have left a rag soaked in acetone burst into flames right next to me when attempting the second weld. Mike and Vaughan had their backs turned to me while I was finishing the second weld, so I endeavoured to try and deal with the flaming microfiber cloth alone. But the flames were starting to envelop the sleeve of my polyester fleece top, so all I could think of to do at that point was to throw the microfiber fireball towards Mike in the hope he could stomp it out on the garage floor. He tried, but much like my sleeve, his trousers only added fuel to a now slightly worrying fire. With only a t-shirt on, Mike picks up the fireball and throws it out of the garage door to where Nick was in the lane, luckily power washing his bike at the time, and like a scene from a clay pigeon shoot, Nick takes aim and douses the flying flaming rag as it hurtles towards him. We all laughed nervously together while inspecting Mike's now hairless forearm. The only regret we've got is that we didn't get to capture it on film for you guys, but I thought I'd try and narrate it so that you could share in the madness of it all. But despite that, the positive D levels were amongst the group were on the up, with the hope that we could now push on and get this Hornet up and running and back on the road to have some fun with in the summer months to come. Things started well in the next phase, as Vaughan got to work sprucing some parts up aesthetically, whilst I got on with the task of renovating the header pipes and exhaust to a satin polished finish. All was left to do was to assemble it all back together and fire her up. But things sometimes are not that simple. Uh, let's hope this battery lasts. I've at the back as well. Look at that on. Yeah, it'll take a while for it to pull through. Yeah. He's alright, man. There you go, the choke on, and you're wrapping it open. Yeah. And it took a good few goes. The only thing I'm worried about is the battery being able to cope now. Is it, oh, 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 is it a fuel tap? Yes, sir. Is it, try it the other way, you know, yeah. like send it and send it back. Because sometimes, it's a bit, yeah, there's a bit of a lock with it. It happened with my GS. Battery's going on. I got another battery there, though, you could probably use off the um, Tiger. That's all right. Knock a choke off and try whacking it as you as you do now. Do you get me? Battery's giving out on you know, that's a couple. Uh, yeah. Come in, you come in, boom, boom, boom. Ah, yeah. Let's just see where the carbs looks coming out. Yeah. Let's see. Holy smokes. Yeah. 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 And the lead pop off there. This side, yeah. Are they all in properly? I've a, a feel on the other side. Or is it what? going into that coil and everything? Where we un did we undo anything from there? Yeah, put it all back. Right. Yeah, we'll go <clears throat> Now wake you up. <laughs> 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 
Bye. 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 I love a bad one, innit? You're right, that's all, Jim. I don't want that. Um, Better than fireworks, innit? I don't want that to get. None of us want that again. We all had a fright. Oh, good day, box off. We did some uh, free will streak in the back of the cabs. We were running then, you know, it's a car fish. It'll be still the same, but it's a different ship. Believe it or not. <laughs> First world problems, eh? Is your bike's on the ram? I told you, this is how it is. Yeah, when it was for being in the ship, let's flip stayed. bikes, he said. Yeah, can you imagine the first bike on the ramp that is his and he can't go up? When it was <laughs> It's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't here. You got one. You got one. What about? Right. Um, I reckon. So mixed up. No! Because she's mis like misfiring, isn't it? Fire in order. Yeah. Is wrong, huh? yeah. I want that to go again. I will do it again, bye. It's <laughs> alright, play your game. I will do it again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because they're coming in from me. I'm going to take them off here. I'm going to try to get them. No, but it's like one and three, so one and four. But I'm doing all. Yeah, but they're length. Yeah, right, that's it, number four, right? Right. And we're in number one. Oh, but it's just, it's just right. <laughs> oh so they're not sided then, so because I thought, oh, so there's two. Yeah. Right, okay. Ah, what have I got here? Is it a Who did that? Nick. I didn't know one. No one is on here. I've got two looking at the floor. Oh, it's all on film, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this the, is this good stuff, you, right? This is what happens when you flip in, just take everything apart and not bloody label it. There you go. <laughs> right. uh, nail it on the head. At least you found the issue, right? Yeah. Because I thought... You used to smile up. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to start with it. I uh, thought, because these are sided, you know, you go, well, that, this side is for them two and that side is uh, for them two. That's what I thought. That's what when I took the... My back bit apart. Yeah. It's not like that. No? No. Ah. You've got. You've got a coil that screws to. I can't go off. You have two bolts on either side. Yeah. But you see, one goes to number one, the other goes to number four. On this side, then one goes to two. Strange, yeah. Three. Why would you cross them over? Like, you, you design it. So it's just a bugger arm, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers in yours, that's it, good boy. Not again! Yes! Get in there! That's the lesson, right? Because I knew they were right before. Yeah. 
I would have gone, there's a wire in the ship. There's a spark of ship. Yeah? And I would have thought there's something wrong with the coins. Thank <laughs> you.